Yay. Speaking of Python, got some Python on hardware stuff like, going on. Some good stuff this week. Yeah, some good stuff. Um, let's Good stuff every week. Yeah, let's start off. Uh, we'll come back to kind of the lead story, which is Scilabs introduced support for CircuitPython. Um, that's going to be kind of our lead story. We just finished up the hack chat, mentioned that earlier. Um, open source, if you want to look at some of the coverage, there was an event out in San Francisco um, that's like Maker Fair like there was a lot of cool projects using Adafruit stuff and circuit Python. Um, I think that it's, there's like the prop maker community, like the, the, it's starting to like intersect a little bit where there, cause like, it's like Adam Savage world and there's like, yeah, it's a YouTube social media yeah, maker. Yeah. There's definitely like, Oh, these are, these are more for the, the audience was more of like the YouTubers that were like building props and, and things. Like if you're, if you're a YouTuber, you're doing lots of things like, Oh, this movie just came out. We built a thing. That's kind of like it. So, um, kind of neat. Check out some of the coverage, um, that's around the web, but also, um, maker Melissa went and you can check out some of the, the things that Melissa saw there. Um, lots of different projects. You can check out, uh, Todd's latest with some circuit Python synth IO tricks. Um, there is a micro Python class for, um, Arduino. Arduino we're actually, we're about to, we we are merging support for this board on CircuitPython as well. It's like happening today. Yeah, the latest one of the latest boards from Arduino, a lot of CircuitPython support. But the uh, the big news, and you can check out all the different um, uh, projects and more. Um, the big news uh, the week was Scilabs now supports CircuitPython, and that includes um, boards from SparkFun. Yeah. So um, that's their feather-like board. Yeah. That's the that's the big tent that we like to build. So Scilabs now has CircuitPython support for a bunch of their boards. Uh, we have, uh, well, we put it all over our socials, but also it's in our press section. Um, we'll play a video in a second, but Lady Ada, why is this interesting? Why is this a big deal? What does this mean? Why should okay. someone care? This is cool because first off, this family, which we covered on INMPI, um, I yeah, think okay. a few weeks ago. So if yeah. people want to see a more in-depth look into this chipset, um, it's, a, it's a Zigbee, I believe also Bluetooth, low energy chipset. Um, that can do matter and thread. And so if you want to do IoT projects and you want it to work with like the newest uh, system that will now allow anything to work with anything. So you can work with Google or Nest or Alexa or Siri or HomeKit, you know, like, now you don't have to worry about writing code for each platform if you're using matter. Um, Scilabs, the, X, uh, the, the MG24 and other series chips um, do this. But one of the challenges was with these chips is that they're so advanced these are cortex chips that have so much firmware that it's actually like compiling and uploading and doing the workflow can be a little challenging which i think was circuit python is a great match for it um, i think they haven't quite added wireless yet for circuit python but they just released this so i'm sure they'll they'll add it later yeah. um but you know this is a new and a totally new family of chips like we've supported espressive and atmel microchip um and yeah. 2040 but we, we, this is the first time we were supporting Scilabs and they have a huge amount of marketplace, especially for wireless chipsets. Um, so it's really great to see that there's great a, for, another family. So also for all of y'all out there, if you ever want to do anything with a Scilabs chip and you didn't know or was too intimidated or is like, it's okay, what am I going to do? If you do anything with CircuitPython, automatically works. Yeah. So uh, they made a video. We're going to play it. CircuitPython is now available for Silicon Labs XG24-based low-power wireless development kits. The low-cost ThingPlus MGM240P board from SparkFun provides an accessible starting point with the quick connector providing the option to add a wide range of external devices. The XG24 Explorer kit from Silicon Labs is another entry-level board that features both quick and microbus expansion options. Finally, Silicon Labs XG24 dev kit comes with a wide range of sensors already on the board, making it an excellent platform for rapid prototyping. Once again, the quick connector allows the easy addition of other devices. CircuitPython is a beginner-friendly programming language that simplifies coding for microcontrollers. To get started, visit the CircuitPython download page. Then search for Scilabs to find and download the CircuitPython firmware for your board. To kickstart your development, you can clone the Silicon Labs CircuitPython applications repository on GitHub, where you'll find a growing number of example applications 
and instructions on how to get up and running. CircuitPython also comes with drivers for a wide range of third-party devices that can be easily connected to the XG24 boards. Visit the Silicon Labs CircuitPython application GitHub repository and start exploring the creative opportunities offered by CircuitPython for the EFR32 MG24 low power wireless microcontroller from Silicon Labs. All this and more in our newsletter, adafruitdaily.com, delivered to you every single week.